Hey, welcome back. Dan MacArthur has announced the release of AV Linux MXE-23.1, a major upgrade of the project's Debian and MX Linux based multimedia distribution. The new version upgrades the underlying system to Debian 12 base and introduces enlightenment as the desktop, as the default desktop user interface. And has some more little info here, but uh, I have it loaded up in a virtual machine, so let's get on there and take a look. And here we are, and uh, we're greeted by the uh, MX Welcome, MX on Lighten for Creators. So basically from here, what we have to do is uh, install MX Linux. So uh, let's click right here where it says install. See what happens, we get the uh, MX Linux uh, installer. And uh, this uh, looks like it's a check and installation media. So it's doing a checkup before it actually starts installing. It's kind of like a self-diagnosis. And if you wanted to stop this and just continue with the install, you could press escape to skip, but I'm just going to keep it going just to make it more uh, useful in case anybody wants to watch this video just for the installation portion. But we're already at uh, the 90%, so it's already done. Didn't take but a minute. Gathering information, okay. So MX Linux is an independent Linux distribution based on Debian Stable. And regular install using the entire disk, of course. The MX Linux installer will not perform the requested actions. Format and use entire disk. Yep. Computer name, computer domain. I believe everything defaults. Locale, United States, American English, time zone. I'm in Los Angeles, not New York. All right, click next. Then I'll set up my username. I don't know if this is gonna act right with a uppercase letter, so I'm just doing all lowercase. And do my password. I'm not gonna do another root account. And I'll do auto login. Click next. And now we just wait for the rest of the installation process to finish. So while you're entering the information, it's actually already starting to install. So I'll go ahead and pause the video now. And when we come back, we should be ready to reboot. And the installation is now completed. So, uh, it's checked off to automatically reboot the system when the installer is closed. So we'll go ahead and select finish. And the system is rebooting. Okay, we are rebooted now. And you can see the first thing we see is the uh, MX Welcome. But of course, uh, the resolution is not a... Uh, correct on here so let me try to fix that right here so let's see what can i find okay i'm not going to use that maybe this tool for settings screen screen setup 1920 by 1080 apply and that seems to have done the trick and just waiting to see if I get a confirmation, but I don't, I'll just click close. And I can close this settings things down. All right, so now getting back to it, we have our uh, MX welcome here. And right here is AVL-MXE-23.1, Enlighten. And it uses the Enlightenment desktop. And on the welcome, we have uh, the website, Enlightenment website, uh, a section to configure wine staging, tools, support. Then you have the uh, MX tutorial video, Windows plugin setup, popular apps, pipe wire settings. And then there's also an about. 
And I don't know if this about is going to be the same as this about. So, yeah. And this is version 24.12.03. All right, and that's your welcome screen. So it says that uh, MX Linux is for uh, content creators. So it has a lot of uh, tools for that type of, uh, let's see what preference it shows us, nothing, applications. Then you double click on it. So this is your menu launcher and it's like a, it's almost like an application itself. So right here you got accessories. So if you double click on it, then it opens up your accessories. Then you click back and preferences. It's weird because you have to double click on everything. Back, programming, graphics, internet, sound and video. So we'll come back to this since this is the, this is the meat of the system itself. It's right here. So we'll come back to this right now. Right now I just want to show you the uh the application launcher. And then office and system tools. And this is your application launcher. Now the panel they're using right here, I've never seen this panel before. Uh, trying to see if I can get a name for it. Shelf, I believe it. Yeah, it looks like it says shelf right here. So if I guess on the Enlightenment desktop, it uses shelf. I, I don't remember the last time I used the Enlightenment shelf, uh, the Enlightenment desktop. So I don't think I've ever used it before, to be honest. But anyways, you have some uh, pinned applications. You have Firefox, Thunar, terminology, which is the terminal, MX tools and MX package installer. So we can go through these one by one, just take a look at them real quick. So the package installer is pretty much set up. Uh, so it is asking for a password. So let me just go ahead and enter the password, hit enter. So everything's set up by a uh, section. So you got messaging, Miscellaneous network, newsreader, office, printing, remote, screencast, screensaver, screenshot, server, themes, torrent, utility, video, virtualization, wallpapers, and window managers. And that's only half of it. <laughs> then you have media converters, media center, language, kernels, icons, graphics, games, FTP, file managers, email, doc, development. Desktop environments, children, browser, and audio. So you have pretty much a full system here. But it's all broken down into little sections. And if you click on about, it says uh, MX package installer version 24.1. And then we have a, looks like we have a dock panel over here. And you have some applications on it. The uh, graphics on here, they're kind of uh, old school. Reminds me of, uh, of an old docky, old plank. And that's the uh, dock panel right here. Then you have your system tray, which are standard items. But it looks like right here, this is a, uh, you click on it, see what happens. It's the mixer and time between updates. Internet connections it tells you what is available for updates. So I'll just go ahead and install these in the background. Fail to obtain authentication package version. And then it says, please wait. Maybe it's going to give me another thing to enter my password. But just in case if it doesn't, we have a little up arrow right here. And this has a system. Settings. It's like, it's like another little uh, application launcher. Yeah, it is. So you have multiple application launchers. Anyway, let's go back to this one. And let's take a look at sound and video. 
And right now we're in icon view and you can see everything that's on here. So these are the applications that you will use, I guess, for uh, sound and video. So you have a also mixer. So this pretty much just opens up a terminal with also and So this is your volume setting. Yeah, it's Alsa, it's old school, old school uh, audio application. Let's get back to the sound and video. And we have Ardor. I've never seen Ardor before. So this will be a first time. Welcome to Ardor. Ardor is a digital audio workstation. You can use Ardor to record an orchestra, create your audio, MIDI loops, Edit the perfect vocal take, mix a live show with effects, dub a video, and master your tracks for digital distribution. Click on forward, forward, and our door is ready for use. All right, that's our door. And sound and video. I'm noticing that the applications are starting to show up here as I open them. So if you have a CD ripper, you have Audacity. Let me see Audacity. I use Audacity every day, so. I'm just gonna do a quick update while it does that. I'll just go back to uh, sound and video. And we have AVI DMUX. I've never seen AVI DMUX. And AVI DMUX. Don't know what it is, but on the about, it's a multi platform video editor. So that's what AVI DMUX is. It's an audio video editor. Okie doke. And some video. Got Blender, Calf plugin, Carla, Carla control, Cinderella, Easy Tag, eMixer. Guitarix, GOC View, Harrison Mixed, Helm. Let's see what Helm is. Okay, Helm, we're waiting on. And then we got Hydrogen. Don't know what Hydrogen is either, so let's take a look at Hydrogen. Okay. Hydrogen, you're using development version of Hydrogen. Please help us reporting bugs. Okay, while I'm trying to take a look at Hydrogen, Audacity seems to finish, but I'll do Hydrogen first. And looks like it's a mixer. Yeah, it's like a, like a beat maker, it looks like. Let's see on the info, check a look at the about. And Hydrogen. Hydrogen drum machine 1.2.0. So yeah, it's like a beat maker. All right, so that's hydrogen. Discard. All right. App update checking. All right, yeah, we know you updated because I. Incompatible plugins found. Continue. Then don't show this on startup again. All right, it's a lot. Damn. Okay, now we can take a look at Audacity. Check out the about Audacity 3.4.2. So Audacity, I use this pretty much uh, every day on my videos to clean up the voice. I go to effects and a lot of times I'm in the EQ filters, noise removal tools and volume and compression are my three main tasks that I use constantly on here. But you know, there's a lot you can do with Audacity. It's a very strong and powerful tool. All right, if we get back over here to sound and video, got Caden Live, got MPV Media Player. There's quite a bit of stuff on here. Simple Screen Recorder, Surge, Set Be Free, PW Tools, OpenShot, OBS Studio, MuseScore. So you got a pretty, uh, pretty rich uh, audio video selection here. All right, so that's pretty much uh, what uh, AV Linux is uh, for. 
has a lot of audio video editions of uh, their software and it's very useful. So I uh, just wanted to take a look at that since they did a new release on it. So uh, this is it. And uh, I'll have uh, download links down in the description if you want to take a look at it. And remember to uh, always check it in, uh, in a virtual machine before you install, install it on hard metal because uh, I've been seeing a lot of comments about people having problems and hey, you should always test it out in a virtual machine before you go bare metal with it. All right. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for this one. And I'm out.